Well, let's talk about your UCLA career. You started all 37 games you played in. You were a two-time All-Pac-10 First Team member. Wow. Yeah, you were. Yeah. In time to come, will 31 other teams say we overlooked Raheem Moore? Most definitely. I mean that in the most humble way because, uh, you know, they don't understand what I do off uh, outside of this. You know, they really realize and see me, how to camera me every day. They'd be surprised with how hard I work. I'm never complacent. I'm just a hard worker, and I, I mean, I dwell on hard work and dedication. And I'm going to show those teams, but you know what? It's not about that. This is about just going out there and just, you know, my dream is fulfilled. And, you know, the teams that pass me up, I keep them in my mind. I keep them. If you want to find one of your biggest fans, you only have to go back to campus and talk to Coach New Heisel. He, right. he could only sing your praises, and I almost had to stop him. He just kept going and going. Right. Raised by a single mother, never missed a day of practice. Raised in South Compton, talk to me about the road that it took to get you to be a Bruin. Ooh, first of all, man, you know what I did was I just gave I gave God, I made sure He was number one in my life first. And what I did was, man, um, I seen a lot in LA, man, a lot, just you know, through several things. And it's like, you know what? I said, man, you know what? I have to get out of this neighborhood. I have to get out of this drama. When I first seen the football, um, I just knew that that was my wife. You just connected with it right away. It's my wife. I don't have no ring on right now, but you know, football is my wife, and also, um, I just, you know, you, you know, you realize something in life is like, you know, you're destined to make this happen. I just knew football was for me. You know, football gets all my love and affection, all of it, and I just, uh, I get a game what it deserves, you know, and uh, I love it, man. I can't wait to get to Denver. Mankind. This that out of body experience, no coincidence, you've been died. Bitch, you're dead. 